Hey guys, and welcome to Piano Shack with me, Woody. Today I will present for you Native Instruments Guitar Rig Player, which is completely free, and it emulates a lot of vintage guitar pedals, amplifiers, cabinets, and so on. Also, I'll play for you a remix of my track, Dark Days, based on feedback from you guys. Thanks for that, let's get started. As usual, let's see what native instruments have to say themselves. So this is based on Qatar Rig 5 Pro, and you get one amplifier, they call it the Jump Amp, 17 cabinets and 13 effects. Now I can agree about the effects and the Jump Amp, but I cannot find 17 cabinets. I can only find one that's matched to the Jump Amp. I'll show you that a little bit later. 50 ready to use effects presets. Now, I do see a lot of presets, but when I try and use them, it tells me that they're only running in demo mode. I'll show you that as well. You get an expandable effects rig. The effects are really great here. You get a huge selection. I see that too, and they sound really, really nice. And I'll show you how you can drag these into your effects rack. Preamp, cabinet and effects. They're repeating themselves. Flexible multi-effects unit based on the Guitar Rig 5 Pro. Yes, we know that by now. Preset browser makes it easy to find and organize your effect settings, drag and drop components in the rack to create custom effect chains. Yeah, this is the best part of the plugin, I think. You can also configure MIDI Learn to automate some of the parameters. It's also expandable, so you can add other libraries from the complete effects family. Let's see what's included in the Guitar Rig Factory selection. This is what you get in the free version. You get a amp and a matched cabinet. Yeah, this is what I saw as well, and it seems to contradict with the information we saw on the previous page. And this is obviously some kind of Marshall amplifier, judging by the look of this thing. I've tried this distortion pedal that's based on the Tube Screamer, isn't it? And it sounds great. We have modulation, chorus flanger, reverbs and delays. Some of these I've tried out and they sound really nice. EQ and filters, haven't dabbled with those, but we can perhaps take a look at those later on when we do the demo. Limiters, compressors, noise gates, really, really useful tools. And finally, before we get stuck into the audio demo, let me just show you the comparison chart here so we can see what the difference is between this free version and the I think it's about $300 pro version. So you see we're only getting one of the amplifiers. Seems to be about 20 or 30 included with the pro version. Cabinet. Yes, you get one matched cabinet. So I don't know what's with that 17 cabinets that they claim on the first page. Maybe we can figure that out together. And you do get a very good choice of effects with the free version, but you can see here, there's even more of a choice in the Pro. Let's see what these studio tools are. These are also included. A few modifiers here, sequences, envelopes, LFOs. This is good general purpose stuff. Splits, crossovers, containers, side chaining. These are a little bit too advanced for today's demonstration, but it's nice to see you get quite a lot for the money. Let's get on with the demo. So let's revisit the Dark Days track that I shared with you earlier. I'm going to play first the guitar rhythm track without any effects at all. Here's what it sounds like. So a couple of things, I'm adding a touch of external reverb here. I can take that off and let you hear what it sounds like without it. If we mute that. I could have done it in the Native Instruments guitar rig, but I chose to have an external send for that one in this arrangement. We'll leave it on because it sounds quite nice. Another thing. Those squeaks, the fret squeaks as I'm changing chord position, once you put those through a high gain amplifier emulation, they really pump out and become a bit annoying. And some of you commented on that when I shared the 
original mix I did. So what I've done is added some automation to that track. Let's enable the automation now. So I'm actually ducking down the volume here as I change the chords and that's going to sound a little bit like this. The reverb helps to smooth that out as well and you can see it was quite a tedious process to go through and edit out all of these but I think it was worthwhile. Okay, let's play a little bit, then I'll enable the plugin. You can hear how those squeaks, my poor guitar technique really shows when you put it through a Marshall amp. So let's take a look at the guitar rig plugin in all its glory. I'm just going to pop that out there. We've also got some EQ, EQ coming in at the end. Shall I disable that for now? Yes, we can do that. So here is the plugin then. Let's take a little look and see what we have. So on the left, I've got some presets. Let me choose a preset, shall we? New in Guitar Rig 5, and then they come up on the bottom here. And then if I try and load one of these, then I'm getting the warning. So I haven't been able to find the presets for the free version. These presets seem to be for the pro version and I can enable them for a little while. Why don't we have a listen? And it runs for 30 minutes. Let's enter the demo mode. Ah, now we get access to the other stuff. It sounds nice actually. Why don't we try a few other ones? I haven't tried these myself. mix, guitar, amps, citrus or some kind of orange amplifier I suppose. Let's see what that sounds like. Fat blues, lead, dinosaur, crunchy. Let's try that one. There we go. We're getting some orange stuff. And that sounds really nice. It's better than the Marshall you get with the free version. What else do we have? This is a bit fun. Um, jump. This is the one that I think that's the cab you get with it. Sounds nice as well. Let's jump to a different portion of the track so we don't get too irritated with that riff. There we go. So yeah, we can see here we get a whole bunch more in the demo mode when we're able to access some of the amplifiers, cabinets and effects that are only available in the pro mode. But today I really want to just show you what you get in the player version. So let's go back to that. Okay, so I've cleared the rack and we have just the stuff that's available to us. There's one amplifier. Let's drag that one over and you get the matched cabinet as well. That's the one down there. So it's an amplifier and a cabinet that are working together here. And then we can see some of the effects that we saw earlier on the Native Instruments page. They're all down here. And some of these sections are empty because you don't have anything special effects in the free version. But you still get a pretty nice selection and you can drag these in wherever you want. Let's take a listen to the default sound of this jump amp then. <laughs> And you might be a bit disappointed you're only getting one amplifier and one cabinet here. And initially I thought that was a bit of a letdown as well. But then on further thought, you get a lot of controls here that you can tweak and you can adjust between high and low gain amp models. So you're getting quite a variety of sounds just with this one amp. Let me demonstrate. <laughs> Thank you. 
You can also tweak some parameters here in the cabinet. Let me do that for you. Let's take a look at one of the other tracks and some of the other sounds and effects that I've used. That was the raw sound. I'm playing a Fender Stratocaster, if anybody is curious. You might have identified the sound of it yourself because it sounds quite distinctive. So I'm adding some compression after the simulation. Let's open that. And here I've added a tube screamer emulation and some cabinet simulation and amp simulation. Let's just take a listen to the tube screamer. And here I'm slightly out of tune, so don't bother telling me in the comments. So here you can see how we've added some effects chains in the beginning here. We can just add a few other things if you want to hear what that could sound like. At the end here, I've added a delay as well after the cabinet, which might be better to put it in front. And it's really nice. You can just drag and drop to position things around as you like. We can add compression here as well. Tube compressor, that's kind of nice. Maybe that delay is a bit much. So you can see you get a fabulous variety of sounds from the free effects that you get. Let's take a quick listen to the solo track. <laughs> yeah, it sounds pretty wimpy without any effects. Let's have another go at that. That was fun. So here's the sound of it without effects. I am passing it through the reverb there. If you're curious what that is, it's a reverb plate simulation from Waves that I've recently picked up in the holiday sales. Let's put the effect on. So yeah, I'm just using one Tube Screamer instance, the amplifier and the cabinet, and there's some delay there, but that's switched off. You can toggle effects on and off here in the instrument rack. So I think that's enough for this high level introduction to guitar rig player and what you get in the free version. It's pretty good. I like it, especially all the effects that you get. It did feel a little bit limited with one amp and one cabinet, but then I quickly realized you can get a huge variety of sounds with them anyway by tweaking the parameters. Let me finish off by playing the entire track. You've heard it once before, but now I've made an attempt to remix it based on the feedback that you gave me in the comments. For example, I've added some delay and some reverb to the vocal tracks. I've adjusted the mix a little bit, brought the volume of the bass guitar down, increased some of the lead guitars and the rhythm guitars and tweaked the EQs a bit. And to try and get a better mix, get the vocals sitting better in the mix, I've added some compression, also a Waves plug-in here, but you can use any compressor you like really, to the master bus. There's some limiting and the VU meter here is at the end of the chain so I can see what levels I'm getting. So 
I'll play you the track now and I'll show you some of the plugins in action. I hope you enjoy this remixed version. It's subtly different to what we had before, but I think it's a bit better and I hope you like it too. Try to grin and bear it I gotta stay strong I think I'm gonna lose it Maybe I'm wrong I look outside the window Hate what I see Trapped inside this prison Escape and be free Stealing the soul So I hope you found this video informative, educational, and a little bit of fun. Maybe even you liked my track at the end there. Thank you to everybody who gave me some positive words of encouragement when I released the early mix earlier on. So thank you for watching this video. Thank you for subscribing. I'll see you next time. Cheerio.